Sidawa, please let us know your background and what your question is. Yeah, so um, I am an atheist, uh, but I'm sort of, I'm open-minded to obviously, you know, I'm currently reading the Quran, I've read a bit of the Bible, so it's not that, it's not that I've come to this conclusion um, by not actually doing my own, my own study into a certain degree. The one question that I do have, um, and I was just wondering if, sort of, if anyone could answer this, is if you look how advanced technology has got at the moment, it's super advanced. And the one country that doesn't believe in anything that is probably 10, 20, 30 years ahead of every other country is China. So yeah. what I would ask to, you know, the Muslims, the Christians, is just, it's just this one question. Yeah. What if China have actually found out that there is no life after death? And that's why that they've come to the conclusion of basically going communist and making their whole country not believe in anything. Why would they? Yeah. Why would so, Why would they put themselves through such uh, hardship if there was a God? Because as far as I'm concerned, they're all going to go to hell. Okay, that's a very good question. Um, so I just want to give a bit of uh, uh, background to this. Right. Firstly, you're absolutely correct that you know they are. In terms of technology, they're getting far ahead. Um, they're hardworking people. I mean, th those things are correct. I'm not going to disagree with that. However, we got to look at firstly two different things. We got to look at the historical aspect, and we have to look at the theological aspect. So, what do I mean by that? The theological aspect is: is there something within atheism or theism that makes scientific advancement flourish? Okay, that's that's the question. So that's uh, it's kind of. I mean, that from that angle, it's kind of irrelevant who is the best um, in, in terms of uh, science at the moment because we you could have somebody who is far ahead of uh, other nations who have a background which is atheistic or theistic, and that's got nothing to do with um, the actual beliefs that they hold. It's to do with contingencies, to do with colonization or stealing technology and so on and so forth. Now, here's a very interesting fact. The Soviet Union, which was militantly atheistic, was competing against the West, which was more Christian, and they utterly lost, and not only lost in terms of economics, but also uh, science. And likewise, we find that science uh, was basically upheld by Muslims for hundreds of years, then Christians, and atheists came pretty late to the party, and you could actually argue that most of the scientists in the world aren't what we would today term new atheists, or, or you know, with this type of militant atheism. Likewise, another thing you said about China, which I just wanted to speak about is from the historical perspective, Chinese technology is poor, right? I mean, I'm not saying that lightly, it's actually really poor. They send out 600,000 students all across the world every year western uh, to western universities like australia europe and north america the reason being because their universities are rubbish right i mean there's no other way of putting it um another thing to keep in mind is that they are so desperate to work with western universities like imperial college london oxford cambridge harvard mit princeton and so on and so forth because their own technologies are far uh, inferior so what they do is that they pay Western universities to get this cutting edge technology and then they just mass produce it. So you will find that the Chinese technologies, if you trace them back, they actually can be traced back directly to Western uh, technologies, nothing to do with indigenous Chinese technology. So it's not that their belief, uh, their disbelief in God has made them go forward and excel or any of these types of things, rather, it, it's basically uh, theft of intellectual property, which, according yeah. to some U.S. government officials, is the greatest theft in human history. We're talking about a, a large sum of money, possibly hundreds of billions um, or, or thereabouts, in terms of copyright and intellectual properties which were stolen by China. Right. The other thing to keep in mind is that in terms of the theological perspective, if you believe in God, you believe there's a higher purpose to life. 
studying science, studying the universe is a way of getting closer to God and also benefiting, benefiting my, mankind by finding uh, the cure to the coronavirus or meningitis or whatever. Whoever saves the life of one saves the lives of all. This is in the Torah. This is in the Quran. Um, and you get this from the biblical perspective, the Quranic perspective. But you do not get anything equivalent from the atheistic perspective. Instead, you can profit off death, which is exactly what China did with the coronavirus. They hoarded PP, uh, PPE equipment. They also held on to information so that they can get ahead of other countries in terms of the, um, the the spread of the virus and also developing the vaccine. So if you are from a purely atheistic uh, mindset, China's actions during this coronavirus, which has led to the deaths of millions of people, are purely justified because you have no moral anchor. So um, in terms of the theological perspective and the historical perspective, a theistic worldview helps science to flourish and also gives it an intellectual bedrock and a moral bedrock, which allows science to go way ahead in a way that an atheistic, capitalistic, um, self-interested mechanism does not. So more.